Finesamod being an S1P modulator, how does that differ and what makes it special from other MS drugs out there considering that there's, you got like the BTK inhibitors and other things yeah. of that sort. So what makes it different? Yeah, before I get into what it makes Finesamod different uh, uh, in, this, in this setting, we have to realize that MS is a, is a chronic disease which patients have for decades. And uh, in that uh, lifespan, um, they, they're, the clinicians and patients need multiple options to really address uh, the issues that arise from having this disease. And, and in that sense, I think having multiple options like we have now uh, is actually great to have uh, for the patients and the prescribers. I mean, when I started, I worked for nine years in the MS field. We literally had um, just oncology drugs <laughs> available. This is a while back. I was there at the time when the interference came out. So if I compare that to what we have now at our disposal, that gives a lot of reassurance that we can really tailor the treatment and switch when necessary for the individual patient. So that's the general setting why I think um, it is great, the situation we find ourselves in. How is Ponesimo different? Well, it is actually uh, highly efficacious if you look at our phase three data, where we uh, compare favorably to uh, a leading oral competitor uh, on the key metrics. So relapse rate, accumulating lesions. Um, we also explored a new dimension, which is actually very relevant for MS patients, which is fatigue. And for fatigue, what we could show is that compared to the comparator, we did significantly better. And that is actually, um, for us, a good reason to start talking about fatigue a bit more, uh, as we did on the conference. But there's other things that are important, because of course we have the S1P class, as you uh, mentioned. So within that class, the advantage we have is that our uh, effects are uh, they start rapidly, but they also stop rapidly. So uh, within one week, uh, lymphocytes are back to normal. What's the advantage of that? Um, and especially now in a COVID environment, I mean, <laughs> you, um, the ability to reconstitute your immune competence by having the lymphocytes come back is an advantage where you need vaccinations where you have the desire to become pregnant. And other S um, S1P inhibitors have either very long half-lives or uh, long-acting metabolites or the need to genotype to make sure you can safely take the drug. So from a prescriber's practicality point of view, there's just the ease of use of, 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 of Ponesimab in this class. And then as we already, I mean, this is the topic of the talk, we have uh, over eight and a half years of safety data that should give the practitioner quite comfort that this is a safe treatment. 